Sam. Hey guys, what's up? Malthabiasha Gamer here again, and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Uh, this episode, we're going to be making a mob. Uh, first of all, I just want to comment, or not comment, I want to say something. I apologize that I haven't really gotten back in a video or any uh, like form of messaging the people who have been asking me to do this one thing in uh, M the M Creator tutorials. For some reason, Whenever I try to reply, there's no box that says reply. Um, and then some other people I can reply to. So I don't know if it's something with YouTube where you have your uh, things where people can reply to your comments disabled. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just going to point it out there that I can't respond to your comments right away. It takes me a while, um, but I do try to uh, reply to everybody who has a question. Uh, so furthermore, this is a tutorial on how to make a mob as I said um, as you can tell this was supposed to be 1.5.8 but I thought I could figure out how to bring the older mods into a new version of M Creator. apparently I didn't know how to and I just dragged the whole thing in like the whole WinRAR thing see it says 1.5.8 but I dragged all my 1.5.7 uh, folders into this so apparently this is just the 1.5.7 version, even though it's in the 1.5.8 WinRAR. So, moving on, how to make a mob. So, first what you want to do is create a new element, obviously. Uh, you're going to want to go to mob and name it anything you want to name it. So, I'm going to name my derp, because derp is awesome. Uh, so, texture file of mobs. So, basically, it's the same way to... Um, bring in a texture for uh, any type of thing. So uh, you could import the texture right here. I'm pretty sure I already have it imported, so I don't think I really need to do it again, but I will import it real quick. I just need to f figure out what the skin name is okay it's skin numbers 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 all right i apologize for that uh so i will have a website in the description where you can download skins for a mob you can also make 3d mob skins which i will work on and try to make a video uh, but right now i just have a mob skin that's not really a mob skin it's just a person skin um and it looks derpy so I got it so uh, from local file apparently I didn't have to do that I apologize guys uh, so yeah first I have just I'm gonna be honest I haven't made a mob in a while so I'm trying to like get back into making stuff um, I did uh, make a lot of stuff for the Crusaders but we ended up not using it halfway through the season um, so yeah I didn't make this many mobs, but I'm going to try to remember how to make them. So, without my uh, terrible grammar that I'm doing right now, I can't pay attention. There's just stuff going on inside my house. I'm just, I keep looking over. I'm like, what the heck is happening? So, we got the skin. It looks like this. It looks like a derpy person. Uh, mob model. What you want the mob to be modeled off of. You can have it look like a chicken. Uh, a cow, a creeper, gas, pig, slime, etc. Or you can have it biped, if that's how you say it. Um, which is biped is just a normal NPC, how the skin is formed. Like a normal person. Steve, I guess. Uh, so we're going to have it as biped for right now. Uh, mob type, we want it to be a monster, so it will attack. Uh, egg color, we'll do black and peachy pink. I guess. Uh, mob label. So, like, the description for the mob. So, derpy. Derpy. Derp. Why not? Uh, then you want to hit next. Name a mob. You want to name it derpy. Or der do it whatever you want. I'm just naming mine derpy. Uh, behavioral, behavioral characteristics. So, we want our mob. So, basically, under it says mob is aggressive. Creature is passive. Mob flying. 
Bob is going to fly and be passive. And then water mob is obviously a mob for underwater, so it will die on land. So we're going to have our mob as a flying mob. Because why not? We want derp to fly. Um, attack strength. So I don't think since it's, since it's like not an aggressive mob, I don't think we really need to worry about attack strength. But say if it was a mob and it was aggressive, you'd want to put the attack strength to whatever number you want, whatever number you think would be cool to have a mob, like the attack strength, uh, how much damage it does to you. So we're just going to have it flying for right now. Uh, so movement speed, how fast you want the mob to move. We'll put it as 2.25 uh, just because I don't think the movement speed really uh, changes anything with flying mobs. Um, so if you want your mob to wear any type of armor, if you want it to hold like a sword, you can put it here. So I think the set first one is what it holds. So we'll have it hold the ender thingy that I made. And then we'll have it wear a golden, no, we'll have it wear a chain chest plate and diamond boots. And then health, how much health you obviously want the mob to have. So we'll have it set to 20 immune to fire. That is basically, can the mob survive in fire? Is he immune to it? It won't take any damage from it. We're going to say no. We want him to take fire damage. Um, the next thing is what the mob drops. So rare drops is optional, which I think is the second one. Uh, so the first one is what it normally drops. So we'll have it drop a slime ball because, you know, slime balls are amazing. And the second thing is a prismarine crystal, which is the new 1.8 update with the underwater stuff that I really don't know anything about uh so that will be the rare one and this will just this is just going to be the normal one uh the next thing is the experience amount how much experience you want the mob to drop we'll have it set to 100 levels because we want this mob to be amazing of course you can have it set to lower or higher depending on what kind of mob it is you can have it like a boss or like the ender dragon will drop hundreds of levels but you'll lose half of it if you go through you no know, you won't lose half of it but i'm just saying if you were to fight the ender dragon you lose half of it unless the the levels go through the portal there's a piece of hair mike what the frick uh but yeah we'll just have it set to 100 the next thing is the sounds that the mob makes so the living sounds what it makes just normally doing its stuff just think do 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 uh, it gives you a ton of sounds that are already in Minecraft. I'm pretty sure if you go to tools, you can add custom sounds. Um, you can add ambient sounds. Um, you make a ton of stuff. It's a ton of stuff with the sounds. And I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, you just add as many sounds as you want. And then I'm pretty sure you just go in here and you can find the sounds. So... We're just going to have it, sounds of it moving as a slime, a big slime. Uh, hurt sound. Oh, I apologize for the Skype thing. Uh, we'll have it as a skeleton getting hurt, because why not? Death sound. Um. We'll have it do, or have it be the Enderman Scream 1, because this is a weird mob. It's derp. So we have three different sounds from three different types of mobs. Of course, you can have your custom sounds, but we're just going to have these three mods. Or mob. Uh, ugh, I can't speak. That was weird. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, but yeah, these are just the three sounds from three different mobs. So you want to click next. The next things, I'm not too sure on how to do. I will look more into doing it. If you guys really want me to, just comment below saying, how do we add the events with the mobs? And I will make a video. Um, first, I'm obviously going to try to figure out how to do it. Um, but yeah, this is just stuff that the mob can do when an event happens. 
So we're not going to have anything for right now, so we're just going to do next. Um, and the next page is, if the mob has AI, you need to define custom tasks. If selected, if you use custom AI, mobs won't move unless you add wander AI. So we're going to do has AI, so the mob will work on itself. We won't have to control it, although I don't really think you can control a mob unless you have like food in front of it, like a pig. Um, check if this mob is a boss in case in this case the health bar will be shown like a wither the health bar at the top uh, will be shown where our boss is or where our mob is not a boss so we, we don't need to check that um, AA based on it's recommended to add any task if you select base that is it none so what we want the AI to be off of. So we could have it like a creeper. Like it will follow you. I don't know if it explodes. It might explode. Uh, we can have a skeleton, enderman, blaze, slime, witch, zombie, magma cube, pig, villager, wolf, etc. And all these down. You can have it off based off of this kind of mob. So we're going to have it based off of a... giant zombie why not um, click to add task to a mob so with this since it has AI we have to have an AI task that it will do so if we want the mob to actually do stuff we have to have it set to wander so you have to add that task um, the next thing we could just you can have it again act against aggressively against any of these mobs creatures things so our mob it's not gonna like zombies I don't like nah we'll do spiders because spiders are weird and they're huge in Minecraft which doesn't really make sense but you know um, so we'll add that task I think that's all the tasks that we're gonna add for right now but this is the rest if you want to add any of these tasks um, so we're gonna go ahead and click next. Uh, spawn probability, how, how how much the mob will spawn. So we'll have it set to 30 because we want our mob to spawn a decent amount of times. Uh, the minimal number of mobs, how many times, or the minimal number that the mob will spawn in a certain chunk or biome or anything. Uh, maximum number of mobs. We'll have it set to eight because we don't want that many derps going around. Uh, the next thing is only on specific biomes. We'll have that checked. No, we're not gonna have that checked. But basically, if you have it checked, uh, this will be able to. You'll be able to uh, change. But if you don't have it checked, you won't be able to do anything with this. So, if you wanted to spawn anywhere, any biome, heck, it'll spawn in the ocean. Uh, don't click this. If you want to spawn in only specific biomes, then go ahead and click that and pick a biome that you want to uh, have the mob spawn in. Uh, does mobs or does the mod spawn in dungeons, like a dungeon spawner, a mob spawner? We want it to. We want a derpy spawner. So that's basically it for the mob. I'm gonna go ahead and let this recompile. Hopefully, there's no errors. Um, and then I'll meet you in game. All right, so we're back. So there was an error. I will show you after this little thingy that I'm doing um, with the mob. I figured out how to fix it. Um, basically, it's just with the um, where it spawns. So like the location that it will spawn. I forgot if I right clicked that, that blew up. Um, so basically, what I had to do was just make it so it spawns in a certain biome, and only that biome, and then it it recompiled fine. But there was two errors, but it still it was still done. So it works fine. Uh, basically, this is what the mob egg looks like. It's black and pinkish peach. Uh, so we'll spawn it down, and that's what derps. That's what he looks like. He sounds like a slime when he walks around uh, when he gets hurt stuff not really anything I'll have to change that 
Uh, but yeah, you see he's flying. Uh, he's flying. So let's kill him. Let's kill Mr. Derp. Let's kill him. Just die. Oh, he's dead. Okay. So, he did drop a ton of levels. Or seven levels. Apparently that was a hundred, but I don't know. I'm creative weird like that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically Mr. Derp. And... I think that's all there is to him. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and close Minecraft and back to our workspace. Uh, changing, we're gonna edit element. Uh, next, 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 next. And I had to change it where it says only uh, specific biomes. So check that. And uh, I'm gonna and then you to next, and then it will recompile all over again, and then you will be good. You can do a little bit of an error, but it will. Uh, so that's basically it. If you guys have any other questions or want me to do any other kind of project, creator, uh, go ahead and comment down below. Maybe I'll make a button. Maybe I'll make.